I'm addicted to mine. And today, we're gonna talk about mine and Bitcoin yet again. This is an updated review on a Bitcoin miner, specifically the Bitmain Ant Miner. And yes, it is the one with the cool black growth. How much is it making? Is it worth it? Or am I about to go bankrupt? Find all this out and more in today's video. Hashing away, hashing away. How's it going today? Nice. Slush pool, the original Bitcoin mining pool is now brains pool and that's with two eyes. Nothing's really changed except the name and they dropped that terrible coin that wasted a lot of our time, which misdirected us and cost us money. It is the epitome of a VC backed <laughs> coin. Zcash. But, Anyway, we're talking about Bitcoin mining today. We can see the miner has just been chugging along over here. The Bitmain Ant Miner S19J Pro. Yes, naming is not their forte. This is my internal IP address. I punch it in, I log in, default password and username is simply root root. And this is the modern dashboard for the Ant Miner ASIC miners. Again, these are application specific integrated circuit miners, purposeful machines, custom computers, your little robotic employees. Click over on the settings and you can input any information you'd like here. This is what I'm using right now. All three of these mining pools require you to create a username to participate. I'll link out to them down in the video description b -b 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 below. So running time since I had to turn it off and on 18 days, I've had it actually even longer than that. So let's look at some daily profitability and go from there. These are my rewards since I hooked this miner up with the b -b brains pool. It's spooky season. Let's go. What's up? And uh, we can see some of my rewards. Big outlier right here, which is pretty cool. Impressive rewards that day. This mining pool basically pays you on how their performance is. You can have incredible days and you can have terrible days. Estimating a seven day average of basically 0 .0004 BTC a day. And it has my estimated earnings for today, which I will show you what that is. That equates to $7 and about 45 cents. If we kind of take the high side of the estimate, we go up to $7 and 63 cents. And you're right, good call. Need to get my candies. And look, you see that my, my my progress down here, I'm not the best at it. The time that it ends just isn't well suited for my schedule. But anyway, hey, right? So I'm earning around up almost eight bucks a day. At 12 cents per kilowatt hour, residential electric right here, this thing is supposed to burn about $8.78 of electricity. And it's estimated to earn $8.52 a day. I'm actually an entire dollar under that estimated income. But I can assure you that my electricity bill is not only probably on that figure, but may even be more with my current mining farm setup, which is why I'm building out a more efficient mining farm. Uh, but yeah, the sad news is that this thing costs right now about 3,000 bucks. It's come down a lot in price. And uh, you'll spend about 3,000 bucks a year to run it as a, at a residential electricity rate. But let's take, you know, an exciting rate of five cents per kilowatt hour. Well, at that figure, you actually start pulling five bucks a day and your electricity factor is much, much lower. And well, that's exactly why the big boys continue to push forward and keep mining Bitcoin. And let me tell you, even though Bitcoin price has not been doing too well, the Bitcoin hash rate has been surprisingly high and even recently hit an all-time high. We are very far from the all-time high in price point. And yet, this is an example of the next generation of more efficient Bitcoin miners coming online in volume. 
but even more so, mining farm deployments take six months to a year or more. So yeah, Bitcoin goes nuts. And then a year later, a lot of these farms are just starting to come online. Some of them, by the time they come online, they need to turn right back around and pull the plug because their operation may not be all that profitable or successful at that point. Right now, Masari reports that almost 2 million of the 21 million Bitcoin are held by miners. In the last 24 hours, the reported emission for Bitcoin is about $16 million. And Dogecoin now comes in as the second most profitable coin to mine at $800,000, a far cry from $16 million. And $1 million is also a far cry from the $21 million a day that Ethereum used to inject into the mining ecosystem. But he's gone. So we push on, I guess. Did you know nearly 3 billion people around the world don't have access to the internet? 3Air is a blockchain platform that's trying to provide equal access to Web3 by providing internet across the world. They have a proprietary technology that helps them build broadband infrastructure to provide equal access. They recently worked with a school in Sierra Leone to provide access to their services free of charge. 3Air just launched their token. The project offers staking, farming, lending, bandwidth sharing, play to earn apps, and more. They also have device and connectivity NFTs, which are used to identify user hardware and allow owners to order services. To learn more about 3Air, check out the link in the video description below. This is not financial advice. This chart shows you just how wild things have been. Okay, so we look at the last year, price is up, 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 down, 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 flat, down, flat, down. And yet that hash rate continues to trend upward and again, even hit an all time high. If you wanna contribute to that massive hash rate, you can go out there and grab a Bitmain amp miner. Some of these are shipping from within the USA if you use Coin Mining Central, who we have an affiliate and coupon code with down in the video description below. And we have to sincerely thank them for helping us source these miners to make today's video possible. They've been helping us source miners for what, uh, I think over three years now. Time flies, really does. Which is also great to see how long they've been operating. Keep in mind these prices rapidly adjust and they are actively working on lowering their prices and just simply getting them more competitive. Keep in mind, if you are in the USA and you buy a mining rig from within the USA, you're not gonna be slapped with tariffs. So definitely price that in when you're looking at a miner, say on Bitmain's site. Also understand you do have to complete KYC to order through Bitmain's official web shop here. And they continue to only respect the big boys. That would be those dealing in bulk. Can't even get this thing that's due late at the end of this year unless you buy in bulk right now, which is incredibly lame, and yet they want to act like they're heroes or something. They're not. They're not at all. Here's an article from Hashrate Index. The Bitcoin's price is in the toilet. The price action is punishing hash price. Hash price is basically the price per hash. This means the hash price is down 70% year to date, which to put that simply, how much hash rate you can get for your money, right? You can get a lot of hash rate for your money right now, but you know, there's a lot of people taking advantage of that price sucks. So your earnings kind of, you know, they suck in the short term and we hope for better, greener days. Keep in mind if you're mining today, right? Let's say you're mining this and you're breaking even today and then Bitcoin five X's. Well, instead of making $8 a day, you're making 40 bucks a day and paying that, you know, electricity bill may not feel so bad in retrospect. However, if you're selling your coin to cover your bills and not basically not doubling down, well, you may not have all that many Satoshis, which is a micro unit of Bitcoin by the time that happens. Again, you know, your mileage may vary time will tell some other people are having a bad time too. some big boys like compute north one of the largest bitcoin mining hosting providers in the united states 
filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last week in anticipation of the restructuring. CEO David Peril, who is clearly in peril, all right, stepped down. And one of Compute North's clients, The Nine, is suing the firm. Compute North provides hosting for some of the biggest players in the public and private Bitcoin mining sector, such as Marathon Digital, publicly traded as Mara, Compass Mining, who continues to take fat L's and many others. So the big takeaway, host your miners if you can yourself, or maybe seriously just consider buying the coin. I do not advocate hosting your miners with other people. If that's the case, honestly, slow it up on some coins. Less risk and less work. Their ASIC index data here shows the current price per TH terahash of different Bitcoin mining ASICs grouped by three efficiency tiers. And so terahash is, you know, the hash power. Think of like a horsepower with a car. If you're new to this, that's, you know, more or less uh, the deal here. These three different tiers are essentially efficiency, right? They're like kind of like generations. And each generation, they take a leap in efficiency. And we can see right now we're dealing with all time lows in recent history within the last year. Of, of these prices so the most efficient ones are coming in at getting un under 38 joules a terahash which is a higher efficiency 31 bucks per terahash you go up a generation 20 up another generation 10 comparing this to about a year ago everyone was paying about $100 a terahash for that efficiency, $64 for that mid-tier efficiency, and 20, almost $28 for that yellow line of above 68 or the least efficient. Putting the Bitcoin price in here, you can see that naturally, expectedly, this is more or less following the price down, and it will follow the price up. I just hope that that comes sooner than later. So, to bring it back to the miner, you know, it's it's crushing it. It's a Bitmain amp miner, big brand name, tried and true, and miner's fine. It hashes away, it's a variable fan speed, and it's on the auto setting, which can be annoying. Um, this is a loud miner, it uses 240 volt electricity. Make sure you understand that. Watch our electricity guide for setting up mining rigs in your home. If you if I if I said that and you're like what then watch the video setting this thing up again you know like I talked about in the previous video breeze power cord Ethernet log in copy and paste done it's that easy I have nothing bad to say about the miner it's been a great performing miner from the operational standpoint unfortunately you know Bitcoin price is just not doing well and hash continues to climb. The profitability is to a point where it barely even makes sense, that wasn't a pun this time, to operate this miner. You can operate it as a business and expense your electricity and gain a bit of an edge that way, right? But if that's all you got, you, you can't just run a business in the red all the time and think you're gonna be all right. We need greener days. And just like David from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, I hope we can go to the moon. For real this time. I'll see you on the next one. My name is Vosk. You're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. Home of the tickliest. That's going to be Tales of Resident Shiba Inu. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.